Hi there, boys and girls. Tonight's lesson is lesson 2.3, division with two-digit divisors. Our essential question is how can you use base 10 blocks to model and understand division of whole numbers? So tonight you're going to learn how to do division with manipulatives. Please turn in your Go Math book to lesson 2.3. Let's begin. Now in the model question provided for you, this is an example of what we'll be doing and how you can sketch it with a model. Our question says 132 divided by 12 will equal 11. Now this model right here shows you why. On our model, it shows that we need to make a rectangle using manipulatives. Now we want to create 132 in a giant rectangle using our pieces. So we know that our flat, which is our hundreds piece, has a value of 100. And now we want to count up to 132 using base 10 pieces. 100, 10, 20, 30, 31, 32. Now the reason why they're laid out this way is this. Because you want to have the value of 12 going down this side of your array. And we know 10 times 10 is 100, so this has a value of 10 units. And this long piece right here has a value of 1 by 10. And so we know this side right here has a value of 1 unit. And this right here also has a value of 1 unit. So we would have 10, 11, 12. So this is why I had the number 12 here. Now going across the top will actually be my quotient. I've got 10 right here, which is I, I have a 10 up top, plus a little 1 right here. Because remember, this long is a 1 by 10 piece. So it's 10 plus 1 is 11. Let's look at another example. Here's another sketched example for number 2. As you can see, my equation says 168 divided by 14. So I want to create 168 using a model drawing. Let's go ahead and make 100 using our mat, also known as the flat piece. If this has a value of 100, I need to lay down long pieces to show 14 on this side for the value. We have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So I have to have 14 here because this is my divisor. See right there? And then we want to create the rectangle going out this way till the whole thing will equal 168. 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. And we stop right there, and the rest will be done with units. 62, 64, 66, 68. As you can see, I have a completed rectangle using all of my pieces. 168 divided by 14 is going to equal this quotient up top. Remember, this piece side right here for my flat has the value of 10 units going across the top. So I'm going to write 10 right here in this little box. Will you write 10 in your box too? Plus, I can see that I have a 1 unit by a 1 and a 1 unit. So this is a 1 by 10 and a 1 by 10. And so we have a 1 and a 1, which equals 2. So go ahead and write 2 in this box. We know that 10 plus 2 is 12. So the answer, also known as our quotient, will be 168 divided by 14 equals 12. And you know it's correct because if you were to multiply 14 times 12, you would get 168. I'm going to show you now with a video right now of me using manipulatives. So go ahead and watch along. All right, boys and girls, what we're going to do is we're going to use things like manipulatives to help us solve this equation. Our equation is a division problem. It's 195 divided by 13. So I'm going to create a rectangle on this page using my pieces. Now because it's 195 divided by 13, I have to create 13 on this side. So I have 10, and now we're going to make 11, 12, and 13. Now you can see I have 13 units going down this side of my array. Now I want to create my rectangle to keep going this way until I have a total of 195 units. Right now I have 100, 
10, 20, 30. I'm going to keep adding to my rectangle until I get to 195. So we have 100, 10, 20, 30, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180. Now I don't want to keep going because I know I have to complete a full rectangle. And if I were to put one more and make 190, I couldn't get up to 195 with all this empty space. So I have 100, 80, and now I'm just going to use my units to complete my rectangle. 183, 184, 85, 86, 187, 88, 89, 190, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95. Do you see that we have 195 in my array? 110, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, plus 15 is 195, divided by 13. Remember how our division is by 13? Now the cool thing is, is up here will be your quotient. Let's count it up. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So 195 divided by 13 would be 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So our quotient is 15. And in our book, let's go ahead and write 15 right there for our quotient. All right, boys and girls, now let's try the next one. This one says 143 divided by 11. So I want to make a rectangle again that has an array of a rectangle that has 143 units divided by 11. So I have 10, and I'm going to place this down here to make 11 going on this side. And we have to complete our rectangle going this way till we reach 143. I have 110, 120, 130, 140, and now I'm really close to 143. And do you see right here we can fit it as a rectangle? 141, 142, 143. 110, 20, 30, 40, 143. Divided by 10, 11, 143 divided by 11 will equal my quotient. Let's count it up together. 10, 11, 12, 13. So 143 divided by 11 equals 13. So let's go ahead and write 13 right up here in our book. Okay, so for this one, this is going to be 165 divided by 15. So again, we want to create 15 going on this side of my array. So we have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. As you can see, we have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Our goal is to create 165 in my array. We Right now we only have 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So let's build our array going this way till we get to 165. 150, 160, and now we're really close. 161, 162, 163, 164, and 165. This shows 165 divided by my 15 will give me this quotient right up top. Let's count it. 10, 11. So 165 divided by 15 would be 11. So everybody, go ahead and write 11 in your book on question number 5. So for question number six, you're going to be drawing a quick picture similar to question one and two on this page. Our goal is to have 192 divided by 16. So let's go ahead and sketch this out together. Take your pencil and make a flat piece. And we all know this has a value of 100. I want to keep counting up to 192 using my manipulatives. But remember, I need to have 16 represented on this side because that's my divisor. So I have 10 right here, and let's go ahead and add a strip or a long going this way, which now shows 110, 120, 130, 
140, 150, 160. I have to stop right there because remember, like we showed you in the video, that we have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 units represented on this side. So far we have 160 value of units. Our goal is to get to 192. So let's continue adding our model with our drawings. This would be 170, 180. Now I'm going to stop right there because I know if I were to enter another long piece right there, that would be 190. And I know if I were to count up to 192, do you see how that's not a rectangle? So I'm going to take my eraser and erase this away. And I'm just now going to fill in the rest as units. 181, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92. So do you see that we have 160, 70, 80, plus 12 more equals 192. So this model represents 192 divided by 16. This is my quotient up top. Remember in our video we have a 10, 11, 12. So we could say 192 divided by 16 has the value of 12 as our quotient. Alright friends, let's go ahead and draw this one now. Now remember we want to create with our model 169 using drawings. So we're going to start off by drawing A flat and we know this equals 100. In fact I could just write 100 right there for you to know the value. Now remember, we are going to divide it by 13. So I have 10, and now I have to make 11, 12, 13. This represents my 13 units going up the side. 10, 11, 12, 13. And this value is going to be 100, 10, 20, 30. Because remember, we have 13 going down this way, and right now we have 10 going across the top. I can write 10 right here. If you want to do that, that's fine too, to remember the value of my flat, the side, because it's 10 by 10. Well, right now this makes sense so far because we have 10 times 13 equals 100, 10, 20, 30. Our goal is to get to 169, so let's continue our model. We have 130 so far. Let's make 140. 150. I'm going to go one more to 160. And now I can see that I have a room right here for 161, 162, 163. Go ahead and write that down with me in your book. 164, 165, 166, 167, 168, 169. Please make sure when you write those that you make sure you have a 3x3 three three array to signify the 9. So we have 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 69. And let's go ahead and write the value right above these three strips, also known as long pieces, as 3. So 10 plus 3 equals 13. So 169 divided by 13 equals 13. For question 9, it says this. There are 156 students at summer camp. The camp has 13 cabins. An equal number of students sleep in each cabin. How many students sleep in each cabin? Now, I know this has to be a division problem because we already have the total number of students, 156. And we know that we're dividing those 156 students up into 13 different cabins. So we're splitting the children up into individual cabins. I know that this will be a division problem also because it says how many are in each cabin. So we're looking for a smaller number. So let's go ahead and draw our model. Remember, we want to create 156 with our pieces that we're drawing. So let's go ahead and make the value of 100, which will be one mat. I'm going to go ahead and make a mat, also known as a flat, to know that that's a value of 100. And now we want to create three rows of long pieces going down. And the reason why I made three is because we're dividing by 13. So we have 10, 11, 12, 13. I'm going to write 13 on this side right here. 
Now we're not up to 156 yet. In my model, I only have 100, 10, 20, 30. We've got to get to 156. So let's continue our rectangle going this way. 130, 140, 150. I'm going to stop right there and continue the rest with units. 151, 152, 153, 154, 155, and 156. This shows my rectangle, and I can see it's 156 divided by 13, and it has a value of 10 plus 2, which would be 12. So we would say, how many kids are in each cabin? There are 12 students in each cabin. And that answer does make sense. And don't forget, if you always wanted to check it, you can check it with multiplication. 12 times 13 equals 156. Okay, boys and girls, so on the back side of your homework, I want you to work out questions one and two. Draw your models in these sections so you can show what you know. Also, continue on with questions three through six for review. Don't forget somewhere on your page, please rate yourself. Please put down if you're a level one novice, two apprentice, three practitioner, or four expert. Again, here are our questions, and I'm excited to do this activity with you tomorrow in class because you'll get to use the manipulatives with your team to practice. Now, if you stay tuned, you can see a blooper with my dog Milo. Have a great night. Okay, so for this one, we're going to do 165 divided by 15. Seriously, Milo? <laughs> <laughs> this is Milo, our dog. Go, go. Okay, try this again. All right. For this one, we have 165 divided by 15. So we're going to put down 100, 10, 20, 30. Please, make him away. <laughs> You're just a little mess. Okay, save that one for bloopers.